Your name? Helen Garner. Your occupation? Project manager. And your specialist subject? The X-Files. The long-running American science fiction series starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson. In two minutes, let's go. The shadowy group or consortium that led a conspiracy to aid an alien invasion and whose members include the so-called cigarette-smoking man is usually known in the series by what name? The Syndicate. Yes. What's the name of the limb-stretching cannibal serial killer who appears in two episodes in season one? Eugene Victor Toombs. Yes. Which real-life quiz show host is credited as Man in Black number two in the episode Jose Chung's From Outer Space? Alex Trebek. Yes. At the start of Red Museum, a young man called Gary Kane is found in some Wisconsin woods in his underwear with what three words written on his back in black ink? He is one. Yes. When Mulder is granted three wishes by a genie in the episode Je Sweat, every other human being disappears when he wishes for what? Peace on Earth. Yes. In Little Green Men, Mulder has a flashback to 1973 in which he is playing what board game with his sister Samantha immediately before her abduction by aliens? Stratego. Yes. Which actor plays Patrick Crump, a man who has to keep driving westwards in order to stay alive in the episode Drive? Brian Cranston. Yes. In Never Again, Ed Jurse has a tattoo that he thinks talks to him, but Scully discovers that the tattoo ink contains what hallucinogenic substance? Uh, Rye. No, Ergot. In How the Ghost Stole Christmas, the ghosts Maurice and Lyda, who tried to trick Mulder and Scully into killing each other, are played by Ed Asner and which actress? Lily Tomlin. Yes. What's the name of the hurricane that brings a tentacled sea monster to Florida in the episode Aguamala? Um... Katrina. No, Hurricane Leroy. What's the title of the season nine episode in which the trio of characters known as the Lone Gunmen sacrifice their lives to prevent the release of a deadly virus? Jump the shark. Yes, in Beyond the Sea, what nickname given to Scully by her recently deceased father is used by the death row prisoner Luther Lee Boggs to convince her that he has psychic powers? Starbuck. Yes, what's the name of the FBI division chief who first assigns agent Dana Scully to report on the validity of Fox Mulder's investigations into unexplained phenomena known as the X-Files? Blevins. Yes, Scott it is Scott Blevins. And Helen, you had no passes and at the end of that round, you've scored 11 points. Thank you.